As far as Chelsea are concerned, difficult to know what's going on I inside the club. Like, yeah. No, I'm doubting very few people would have predicted that they'd have to change ownership during the season. Do you think? Do you think the uncertainty of what might happen to some players in their futures is affecting them on the field? I think so. Well, you've seen what's happened with, with Rudiger. He's already going to Real Madrid. With, you've got Aspilicueta. You've got Christensen coming at the end of their contracts. You've got Mason Mount. The last couple of years of his contracts. You've got teams sniffing around Rhys James. Mm -hmm. These are these are uncertainties, and I'm sure Chelsea would like to sign these players up for, for longer term because they're outstanding players. There is that uncertainty. Maybe they're thinking that they've already qualified for the Champions mm. League and they've took the, the foot off the gas slightly in games. But the Kaku situation as well doesn't hasn't help. helped. Yeah, so you're looking mm. at him on the bench today, he doesn't look happy. So there's a lot of uh, uncertainty, a lot of disappointment around Chelsea in the last few weeks, but they're going to have to liven up because the two behind them are still coming strong. Mm. Yeah, uh, and we're going to see both of them. Uh, by the way,